Hello guys, my name's Rob, this channel is called Decoded and today I'm going to show you the only method you'll ever need to solve any topology problem. A bad understanding of topology is the number one thing holding back most beginner and intermediate 3D modelers. It's something I personally struggled with for a long time until I found this method. So before you skip this part of the video, I'll quickly explain what we're going to do today. I'm going to show you an example of a hard topology problem that a modeler might face. Then I'll show you the method to tackle any kind of topology. Finally, we'll come back to our problem and we'll use the same method to fix the topology super quickly. Okay, so first I'll show you the problem. Let's say we have a standard cube here and it doesn't really matter what this is. It's not going to make a lot of sense, but let's, um, let's add some cuts in. Okay, and extrude out a face on either side, right? Let's say this was some machinery or whatever you were modeling. And we need three ridges down here, right? We're looking at the, the drawing, the concept art, the photo. It's got three ridges. So we add in um, five lip cuts, right? Four, sorry. We add in four lip cuts. Okay, and we select this, this, and this. We extrude it out. In theory, no problem. We, we've modelled what we want to model. The problem is now the topology is ruined. We've added these loop cuts all the way around the entire mesh. If these were fingers on the end of a person's arm, a character's arm, then you now would have added these loop cuts going all the way up the arm. They would be going potentially up to the head. They'd be going all over the model. Right, so how we solve this? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a plane to show the method, right? And I'm going to generate, I'm going to stick this on the view. Okay. And all you need to know basically for, for the topology is how to change different numbers of faces. Once you can do that, you can do anything. So let's say we have five faces on an edge, right? So we'll give it four cuts to make five faces. We have these five faces and we want to get it down to three. Right, so we extrude this down. And if we grab the middle one, okay, G and Z to move it up, look what happens there. This is now a quad. One, two, three. If we give it a bottom, this is a quad now. And one, two, three. There's your three edges. We can extrude that down. We've, we started with five faces here. We now have three. Okay, and we can obviously scale that on the X to make the faces like the same size. Now you have three same size faces roughly. And we can just do that again. If we grab these faces, move the middle one up, and then we join these, then we now have one. So we've quickly went from five faces to three to one and we can keep going like that if we extrude down again okay and I'm just gonna put a cut up the middle right and then if I just grab these and dissolve them so how do we join this up properly well what we do is we use the knife tool and I'm going to connect this up to here then I'm just gonna get rid of the one at the side edge here and now if you look at this wrong button that's now a quad this has four sides that has four sides but we start off with one edge and we now have two for different faces we can do that again on either side for four so from these two edges I'll just extrude this down again if we uh, let's add some cuts okay and then just get rid of most of it right so we have these cuts down the middle and what we can do here is just the same thing we did there but twice what I mean is if we go to the corners just like we did connect those up and then we get rid of the edge loops the edge faces sorry on either side that's a quad, that's a quad, that's a quad, they're all quads everywhere. So what we've done there is we've quickly went from five faces to three faces to one to two to four. 
right, this is how we'll use that, because that still might not make a lot of sense. So I'll show you how we'd put that into practice. Coming back to our model over here, right, we have five faces, just like we did over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a loop cut, okay, and I'm going to use double J to move this over. If we grab this and move it up like we did before, use K to cut, cut across this, and get rid of these two. We can now get rid of these two edge loops here. They're not needed. And then if we do this again, if we add in another cut, slide it over to here, we can do the same thing. We can slide this one up. We can use the knife tool, cut across there, select these two edges here, dissolve them, and then we can just dissolve these edge loops here. And really quickly, what we've done is we went from having five edges and loop cuts running all over, to now we're just back to one. It's not interfering with the rest of our topology. If we look back over here, those edge loops are now gone. Obviously you would have to do what I just did on the top there, you would have to do on the bottom side as well because at the moment this is like bad topology, that's an angle that. And then just work through and go, okay, well, if it needs to be seven, you can have a four, a two, and a one, or whatever. So I hope this made sense, guys. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a like, and subscribe to the channel for more videos. I put more content up every week.